This new smartphone that I just bought is pretty skinny on the outside, but it turns out to be relatively fat on the inside. It's full of software that I don't even really want, but it comes with the phone. Time for us to figure out how we can control both the amount of memory that our apps use on the phone and how much battery they're consuming. And luckily, there are a bunch of tools that can help you do that. There are things that are going on under the hood that gradually eat up memory. Your cache fills up, just as with your browser on your desktop computer. That's true on your phone, too, and there are easy ways for you to clean that up. For example, an app I found called CleanMaster will go through and find the cached files generated by all the different apps on your computer, and then it gives you a very easy way to wipe out some or all of this cached material. I found that apps that will help you save battery power can also help you save memory. One that I found called Battery Doctor tries to save your computer's battery by shutting off apps that you're not using at that moment. Another power saving app that I discovered called Quick Settings is a much simpler app, but it does much the same thing. If you know that you need to turn off your GPS, you don't have to hunt around for it. Just launch Quick Settings and all of that stuff is right there ready to go. GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all these power draining features of your phone can be easily accessed from one app and controlled. You can use these tools to improve your battery life and save memory on your phone right now. And since most of these tools are free, I don't know what you're waiting for. From the Tech Lab, this is Hiawatha Bray.